Okay, so I'm flushing the firmware in my DTA SAT um, ECU this morning. Um, I'm putting version 63 onto the ECU because that now supports um, full throttle flat um, gear shifts by relying on a signal from the sequential gearbox to feed back to the ECU so the ECU can detect when you're pulling the lever back to change up. Uh, it automatically suppresses the ignition on the engine, uh, therefore removing power from the um, load into the gearbox. It allows you to go into gear and when you then uh, when the gear lever is in resting position the ECU knows that um, through some programming uh, and then um, puts full power back on again. So this firmware is going on now using the ST10 flasher tool which is a piece of freeware. Um, I've got the latest s80.hex file off the DTA website. Um, the laptop's hooked up to the ECU with the serial cable and I've got my little warning lamp on on the dashboard to show me that the ECU switched on. Um, and it's just a case now of waiting for, well it says 126 seconds, um, so 2 minutes and 6 seconds for it to complete. Um, and hopefully once it's complete we'll get a little acknowledgement on the screen to say that uh, all's well and good. Um, I can then um, turn the ECU off and uh, back on again um, and fire up the DTA uh, window software to make sure we can talk to the ECU still, that I've not bricked it by doing this. Ah, there we go, it's okay, it's finished. So I'll now click on uh, close, because we're done. And I'll now just turn the ECU off and on again. Just flip the switch off. Just make sure the switch underneath the ECU is back in the off position. That's the one that tells you whether it's being programmed or not. Switch the ECU back on again. And now on the laptop, this is the moment of truth, we'll now click on start, click on the SWIN software and see what happens, hopefully. It can detect the fact that it's on, it does, marvellous. It's reading the map from the ECU and uh, hey, good to go. Right, so it's now running version 63.01 of the software, which means I now just need to buy the um, dual channel sensor from Geartronics that plugs into the front of the gearbox um, that will um, then allow me to wire the second channel from the sequential gearbox gear position sensor into the ECU um, and then on the ECU itself there's a, um, a function somewhere, I haven't found it yet, I know it's in there somewhere um, which is probably that one, launch and shift cut options and this will then allow me to go in and um, set up the device for, for use with my gearbox. Um, it's uh, bigger than my screen resolution, which is why the graph's disappearing off to the right. But basically this little grey box here shows the voltage from the gearbox position, uh, gear position sensor. And this is where you set it all up here to tell it um, which gear uh, position, what the voltage represents, which gear you're going from one into the other. Um, and then you can set up the, um, the delay in many seconds I believe between gear changes. It looks like a lot of fun. Right, okay.